Yo, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Elda. And if this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, right, right, I need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Right, right. Then I need you to hit that bell. Right. And then I need you to like up the comment section with hashtag Doc Cousin Game. And you'll officially be my cousin. Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, cousin? What's up for me? Come on in. Come on. Yes, man. Baby, I love you, but baby, you know how we get down. We be like, welcome back. Back. Hey, back. Back. Hey, back. Back. Hey. Hey. So, you guys. Let's go ahead and have this conversation, okay? I should have got my wine glass and my beer punch in it so that we can go ahead and sip and talk, okay? Because this right here, it might ruffle some feathers for some people or it may make you feel some type of way. Um, it might even bring conviction or, or, or it can help put some things into perspective, okay? And I'm talking to my uh, single parents today, okay? my single parents and when i ain't single no more but praise you jesus hear my heart but you need to give yourself a break okay no 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 let's rewind let's 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 rewind okay i'm talking to my 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 parents i'm talking to uh, my single parents okay or um you know or depending on the situation all right so listen to this okay i need you to give yourself a break okay now this is one of these conversations where you take what you need to take leave what you need to leave okay but i pray that for understanding and i pray that it stretches your perspective on things okay now when it comes to parenting especially if you're a single parent or you know you 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 basically have a child or a couple of children um whatever your scenario is and you may not be with the mother or the father of that child however you need to learn to give yourself a break because i am so so sick and tired of seeing um, where people are not able to take a break, especially, especially when they have the opportunity. You need to learn how to get up out of your feelings, okay? Because it didn't work between you and that individual. What am I saying? I remember when I first got, when I was going through my divorce, I was one of those, <laughs> well, he ain't gonna see her, and this and that, and this and that. And then I had a real good friend that said, Elda, at the end of the day, that is her father. You may not like how he lived or whatever the case is, baby, let your daughter go be with her father, okay? And that time she's with her father, you take that time for you now what happens in that house how he deals with things how he processes things, that ain't your business as long as your daughter comes home the same way you sent her off as long as she eat as long as she got a roof over her head okay and she's being taken care of even if it's not to your standard she is with her father and as long as your daughter comes back the way you sent her off, then baby, you can't say nothing. So I need to ask yourself, I need you to get to a point where you ask yourself, am I using this child for leverage? Because I'm upset with the mother or the father of my child. You need to ask yourself that because Especially if you are in a place where you feel like you can't catch a break. Why? Because the child is with you 24-7. Why? Because the other parent is asking to see the child or the other parent is asking to spend time with the child. But you being so stubborn that you do not want to let them 
but then you getting upset because you don't have time. It's called balance. It is called balance. So, Cuzzo, I'm here to tell you today the same advice my good friend gave me. Let your child go be, go spend time or whatever it is that you need with the other parent, especially if that child is not in harm's way, especially if the other parent is no type of danger. Now, if it's like that, then that's a whole different story, okay? But I'm talking about genuine mothers and fathers that are trying to be in their child life and y'all and y'all just being stubborn that's why i said it's gonna ruffle some feathers because i know you're gonna be like well oh sis no you don't you cuz oh you know you don't understand this and that and it's like it's so many excuses because at the end of the day it's for the sake of the child it is for the development of the child okay because let me tell you, so being there for the child is not only financially, okay? You have to be there for the child mentally. You have to be there for the child emotionally. You have to be there for the child physically. And then you have to be there for the child spiritually, okay? It is not just um, only financial. So this is what gets me. You need a break. And there is another parent. But you don't want to let that child go be with the other parent. Even if it's for a couple of hours. Even if it's for a day or two. Even if it's for a weekend or a week. Whatever is conducive um, for you guys. But you need a break. Okay. This is why you're snappy. This is why you're irritable. This is why you feel like you, you, you're you going and going and going. But you're not, you feel like you're not even getting no rest. Or you feel like you're not catching a break. Okay. This is, this is why. Because you're not allowing yourself to. Because you're too busy trying to have things in control. Or you're too busy trying to control the situation or manipulate the situation. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it, cuzzo. You got to do better. You have to do better, okay? So I really want you to sit and think. If my child is not in danger or will not be in danger, and the other party is willing, is willing not, to spend time with their child or is asking for their child. Why can't I let you go be with your mammy or your daddy while I catch a break? Think about it. Once again, I know every situation is different. But once again, like my friend told me, as long as your child come back to you the way you shipped him or her off what's the problem now if you have that unction by the holy ghost by the holy ghost not your emotions not your emotions or not by the scenarios you don't create it in your head and you got the nerve to believe okay not unless you are led by the holy ghost to not do so then that is completely different okay so cuz oh i need you to get a break so I need you to evaluate some things, okay? Because in order for your child to advance, increase, or elevate, your child have to experience a healthy mother or father um, in you. And in order for you to do that, you're gonna have to take care of yourself. And in order for you to take care of yourself, you're gonna not, you're gonna have to learn how to break. You're gonna have to learn how to come out of mommy and daddy mode. Okay, these things, other things that people overlook, like the social life and all this, all of this plays a part in us. Okay, some people are frustrated because they don't have a social life, because they don't have an outlet. You know, those moments you just want to go sit down, have a drink, and just eat real good, and you know, have a real profound conversation. And that moment where you just want to sit in complete silence. Okay, and you don't want to give your child melatonin to go to sleep so that you can get that silence, you know, where you just want to be 
completely free and just be able to not worry about anything for a second why because as a parent you're always on go you're always on go so with that being said because i'm not going to prolong this video than what it needs to be but i need you cuzzle i need you cuzzle to get a break okay i need you to tag somebody i need you to share this with somebody who is a parent who needs a break and who's being stubborn okay um who is being stubborn and not letting them go or spend time with the other parent okay what y'all got going on between you and that individual you and that individual once again that has nothing to do with the child nothing to do with the child so if he or she wants to see his on um, their child let them and so that you can get a break but anyways I hope this encouraged somebody. I hope this provoked somebody. And I and I definitely want to hear your thoughts on this um, on this topic because this is something that needs to be talked about that is not talked about. Okay. And as I said, you heard me said throughout the video um, that mother or father. Okay. Because you do got some single fathers out there that's holding it down. And I just want you to know that we definitely definitely appreciate you and we're speaking life over you we speak strength we speak peace we speak strategy in the name of jesus over you to all my single parents or um you know parents that's just holding it down and they're feeling overwhelmed i speak the peace of god over you because let me tell you you guys i'm the reason i'm telling you this is because i needed that moment yes i'm married okay yes i'm married um and yes my husband could have took over but listen he's not even here okay i'm like you need to go somewhere and i called my daughter i called my daughter daddy i said hey uh yeah um your daughter all right your daughter and he was like hey all right i'll pick her up from school why because i needed a moment I needed a moment. I needed a moment to breathe. I needed a moment to pour back into myself. I needed a moment, guys. I just needed silence, okay? And it just made me wonder, and I'm just grateful for that, okay? I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm grateful that I'm able to call her father. Um, and even if her father was not able to come through, I know my husband would have held down the fort. But nothing, but I'm just grateful. So use your resources, especially if you have it. This is why we have godparents. This is why we have aunties. This is why we have uncles. And for those that may not have anybody, or you know, they may have you may have trust issues as to why you don't want your child to, you know, whatever the case might be. Listen, I know, I know, I know, I know it's hard but i want you to hang in there because something is going to shake eventually will you be able to get that break okay something is going to shake eventually just definitely definitely hold on be strong continue to affirm continue to pray continue to strive because it's going is something is going to shake eventually but it's time that as parents um we don't take our frustration out on our children um but we become better so that we can love them more effectively but i love y'all be blessed i'm looking forward to engaging with you in the comments like i said please share your thoughts um go ahead and thumbs up share this video with somebody if you ain't subscribed yet i don't i don't even know why you waiting like why are you waiting to be my cousin like don't act like that don't act like that don't act like that but i love y'all be blessed be encouraged and remember you have victory on every side